Well, those of you parents who have teenagers at home know that um, it can be tricky for them to dress. Either they want to dress way too old or sophisticated or uh, a little in between that. So here to show us some styles that are more age appropriate but still look good just in time for summer here yep. in the Texas heat is Alexa Curtis. And Alexa is a familiar name to a lot of teenagers out there because you have your own blog, a fashion yes, blog. Yes, I do. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm so excited to be here. You bet. Tell us about this. Yeah, so um, I'm 16 years old and I started a blog when I was around 12, coming from a place just feeling so insecure and sheltered from such a small town like I couldn't fit in. So I thought, hey, maybe if I start a blog, I can reach out to some other girls, you know, young girls that are feeling the same way and help them feel more confident like I was on that journey. So I'm hoping that this is what's happening right now. Yeah, 12 is such an awkward age too. It Trying is. to find yourself and then find a way to dress. And you then know. you get into high school and it's the same type of thing. And right. You start dealing with boyfriends and friends and it just becomes <laughs> a whole pattern of not knowing what to wear and not knowing how to feel confident. So then a lot of teenagers I think maybe get lost in that. They're not yeah. sure how to express themselves in a way that's not too risque exactly. and a way that's not too grown up. And I think that a lot of teenagers also kind of lose themselves in that process yeah. and it's really important to be true to who you are and be true to what you want to look like and what your inside looks like. So Alexa, I know that your job is to keep up with the best fashion. Yeah. So what have you found out as far as like what are some good tips out there for our, our teenagers? Yeah, well I'm seeing a lot of things that teenagers are wearing are lots of colors. Okay. So I mean because teenagers are so young you want to embrace the youth. You don't want to be too dressed up and you don't want to look too much like an adult right. because what parent wants to see their teenager dressing like an adult. And then we also have a lot of teenagers interested in rocking more of an edgy look. So mm. we're seeing lots of Converse and cutoff shorts, a lot of music festival style, especially since summer is here. Right. So we see teenagers really trying to rock different trends and make them really popular, which is so cool that really teenagers are interested in making these statement pieces. You know, we see that all over Austin because we are home to lots of which music festivals. Which I'm seeing festivals. so much and I see a lot of hipster kind of bohemian style, which I love so much, which is great. You know, I'm interested in that. Where do we fall? Because you travel all over the yeah. country talking about fashion. Austin fashion, do you see that it's a, a different kind or it's do we fall in line? It's definitely different than New York and I was just in LA and it's also very different than LA but again I love the fact that people are really willing to take a risk mm -hmm. and in New York you're either too safe or you're too out of the box yeah. but here it's kind of like you guys fall right in the middle which is perfect you don't really have to try you get that effortless subtle look. And if we have a teenager right now watching Alexa and thinking you know I, you know, I, she's speaking to me I'm not sure if I fit in quite so much or if I want to break out what yeah. are some easy things they can do to maybe step outside of the box but not too much? Yeah I think the number one thing is to really figure out what your main goal is when dressing and mm -hmm. don't overthink it. If you go into a store and your parent wants you to wear something or your friend wants you to wear something you have to go with your first intuition and think exactly what you want to wear and just go for things that make you feel out of the box and beautiful okay. but also very confident and almost kind of sexy in a way that's subtle so you're not going too out of the box right. but you want to you want to have the opportunity to be something different playing with fashion is like playing with a new character so why not why not bring that out. So we've talked about teenagers. Any advice you want to give to parents out there? I think a lot. I was asked this actually the other day. Um, parents really need to learn that their children are getting into a new level, especially as they get older, and they should have the opportunity to try different looks. And some things are going to work, and some things aren't, and that's a learning process. And if parents can really be there and supportive, it's so much easier for the teenagers, because teenagers are going through some really huge things as they oh, get older. Sure. And if their parents can be supportive and be great when it comes to clothing and you know trying different looks, that's super important. Right. Okay. Tell us one more time the name of it. A life in the fashion lane. All right. Thank you so much thank for joining you so us. Thank you so much. Best of luck. <laughs> thank you.